Well, first of all, I want to thank Cabi for inviting the Colombian Coffee Growers Federation to present at your meeting in, in Oxford. Unfortunately, we could not be present this time, but um, nevertheless, technology can help us share our view of, of some of the topics that you are discussing uh, this week uh, in England. So we've, uh, we have entitled uh, our presentation Lessons from Sustainability uh, in, in terms of what we are currently experiencing and I think the world is, is currently experiencing and, and this is climate change and climate variability. Uh, Peter Baker, um, in a recent conference in ASIC in San Jose in Costa Rica, mentioned that, uh, or made a point, which I think is quite important, that uh, the current sustainability system that we have developed for the coffee industry is not accomplishing the rate of change that is required. And I think it's a very important point. So how can we improve or increase the rate of change once we agree on what change do we need to have? Let me go back to illustrate the point of how Colombia is facing that challenge. And let me go back to 2008. 2008, you can see, as you can see in the graph, we had 30% uh, of all plantations in Colombia uh, were rust resistant varieties and 70% were non-resistant. So based on that, you know, with that structure, La Nina came to us for three years in a row. And the rust fungus started to attack plantations at, at higher altitudes and it became, uh, we had over 40% in infection rates in, in rust in Colombia. The crop, the, the volume harvested uh, came down, the yields came down quite a bit and we were really faced with a crisis, a production crisis. And then we decided to make a change, to make a structural change. And uh, the structural change that we decided to make was we are going to reconvert, we're going to change the plantations in Colombia for rust resistant varieties that can adapt the, themselves better to climate variability. How do we accomplish that change at a rate that we need to, to accomplish? Well, let me put an orchestra in front of you. The orchestra tries to illustrate that in order to make change, you have to have many, many parts, many elements to work together for the same objective. So in the same way that a song played by an orchestra uh, is played by different musicians that have agreed on a partiture and everyone plays his, his or her own role, we have to make different actors play the different roles to accomplish change. So there is a trick. All musicians have to show up on time, they have to play the same partiture, and, and they have to agree to follow a director's lead. The same happens in, 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 in agriculture or in coffee in Colombia. We had different musicians. The extension service, I am wearing now a share from our extension service uh, technicians. There are over 1,500 of them. This is, in, and last year they visited uh, or were in contact with, they had 1.2 million contacts with coffee farms, taking the programs to them, taking the assistant to them, helping them convince that change was required. That was, that's an important musician. Let me show you another musician. The musician of the loans, the, the financing. Uh, we were able to, over the last year, over the last four years, to help arrange loans for uh, nearly 200,000 farmers, uh, covering 162,000 hectares. To make that division is a very small amount per hectare. It's, uh, it's, uh, we're talking about uh, uh, around $3,000 dollars per principal is very small and you have to convince the banks to do that so that's another musician not only taking the programs and designing the loans but also convincing the banks the banks are play an important role in, in that orchestra how do we get the money to the to the coffee growers well we have coffee id cards that work as a debit note so the banks can transfer the money directly to the debit card and we have over 400 and 30,000 cards issued uh, and uh, over 500 million dollars that have gone through that system so that the, the, the growers actually get the cash 
once they get the loan, because sometimes they don't have a bank branch nearby, uh, even in their towns. So let me show you yet another musician. The other musician that, 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 that works uh, or, or that is important is, for instance, the seeds. Uh, having the new varieties and having the seeds on time. So this is very complex, putting all this together. And we have been able, over the last uh, few years, increase the rate of renovation. And uh, only in 2012, 2011, we were able to change uh, 234,000 hectares uh, and uh, for rust resistant varieties. But this orchestra, putting this orchestra to work, to, uh, it's, it's not an easy job. It's, it's certainly difficult. And this is how we see this uh, challenge of making uh, change possible. How, what can, have we accomplished uh, so far? We have over 55%, it started from 30% to 55% rose resistant varieties now, better adaptable to climate change. And perhaps in the next few years, that, you know, we're going to finish the job and get uh, 80 or 90% at, at, at this rate. Uh, it's uh, something that we are actually very proud of. But you know, once that process finishes, we cannot you know, sit aside and say, we, we did the job. Because we have to start thinking about the next song. So rather than thinking about songs, I, I'll, I'll, you know, I will try to illustrate the point by, by showing it in terms of um, movies. Um, we are finishing the script of Rocky One, which is changing for rust resistant varieties. But at the same time, we have to start thinking about the next script, the next movie, the Rocky Two, the Rocky Three, the Rocky Four. Uh, Rocky II is going to be a climate smart coffee growing together with new varieties, new varieties that we are already developing uh, with Sunny Cafe uh, that will adapt better to La Nina conditions, uh, which we expect them to be more frequent and more intense on the, over the next uh, few decades. Uh, so, so, and then at the same time, we have to think about Rocky III or Rocky IV using information technology to make uh, sustainability indicators even at farm level. And this is something, a dream that we are, we are uh, already developing in terms of, of a script, if you would. So these are, in a nutshell, some of the lessons that we have had and some of our views in terms of accomplishing change at the, at the higher rate, at the higher rate level. Um, and we think these lessons are important. If you look at the world, in terms of agriculture, I think there is around 1.2 billion farmers in the world that have less than five hectares. And all of them need to accomplish change. How are they going to do that? Particularly in a world where the individual is now empowered by social networks, you, 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 by a number of mechanisms, they have more access to information, they can express themselves uh, using IT, Etc. Etc. So, in a world where the individuals are getting their voice heard, institutions sometimes tend to be undervalued, and uh, we believe that uh, we have to we have to come back and rethink the role of institutions, because we believe institutions are key to accomplish change. They are key to develop the scripts. They are key to put these orchestras together. If you don't have institutions, you may not have the orchestras that, that, that are needed to accomplish change for small co uh, growers, or small coffee growers in our case, or small growers or small farmers in uh, different cultural and socioeconomic environments. So that's, uh, I guess, but, or that's in, in a nutshell uh, the point that I wanted to make. The role of institutions is key to accomplish change at the rate that we need it to accomplish. Thank you so much for your attention.